Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'll be sharing my thoughts on Lineage OS 16, which is running on my Poco F1, and I'll be even showing you guys how to get it on your device. So, without any further delay, let's get into the video. So let's start with the performance, it's running on Android Pie. So once you boot into the ROM, it will give you a few options like which launcher you want to choose. So for some reason, Pixel Launcher was crashing, so I went ahead and chose the Nova Launcher. I'll be leaving the links for the Pixel Launcher which is working, so check that out. But as of now, I'm using the OnePlus Launcher which is really good. I'll be leaving the links for that one too, so check that one also. Lineage OS is known for its customization. One of my favorite feature is that you can theme your navigation bar and that along with your OnePlus launcher gives a whole new look to your device. So the overall software experience of this ROM is pretty good. Now let's move on to the performance. I just ran the anti 2 benchmark. I got a score which was pretty much very close to the one which I used to get on MIUI. I even tried playing PUBG. I just kept the settings to smooth and ultra. The gameplay was pretty damn good. There was no frame drops. The overall gameplay was pretty smooth. The RAM management on this ROM is really good. At some condition, I felt that the RAM management found in this ROM is better than the one which is found on MIUI. So the software and the performance of this ROM is really good. Now let's talk about the camera. The default camera which comes with the ROM is not that good. So I installed the Google camera. I'll be leaving the link in the description for it. Go ahead and check it out. Google camera along with Poco F1 is an amazing combination. The photos which come out of these are really good. The portrait mode works perfectly for both rear and front camera. Night sight also does an amazing job. But when it comes to video part, I think Google camera falls back. It can do native recording but it, when it comes to other features like slow-mo, it pretty much crash all the time when you choose that option. So if you're a person who's looking forward to use Google camera for recording purpose, I would not suggest you. Instead, you need to download some other app. But for photo, this does an amazing job. So let's move on to the battery section. So for a custom room, the battery life which you get out of this room is really good. You get roughly somewhere around 6 to 7 hours after heavy usage. But if you're not going to do heavy tasks, it can easily run through a day. So there are a few other things which I want to mention about this ROM. The face unlock and the fingerprint also works really good. So now let's move on to the installation guide. For this you need to have a custom recovery and along with that you need to have ROM file and the Google app file. If you have all this you are good to go. Now just boot into your TWRP recovery. Before doing anything make sure you take a backup. Once you're done with that, just go to the wipe section, select the Dalvik cache system data and just swipe. Once you're done doing that, now head back to the installed section, ta select your ROM and install it after that now select your google apps and install it so after that you can go ahead and flash any kernel or if you want to root your device you can flash the necessary files so i just flashed the franco kernel so make sure you first flash the rom then g apps then flash this one and make sure you're downloading the correct version of google app i'll be linking all those in the description so check that out once you've flashed all of these tap on the reboot system know the first boot is going to take a while after that you're going to see the setup screen yeah so that's it for the video guys if you like the video subscribe and tap on the bell mark other than it's me signing off like share subscribe and don't forget peace out